Hello and welcome to the Irving and Marjorie Morgan Lowen's Room for Special Collections. I'm Natalie Salib, curator of Bowdoin Sandstrom, cultivating music, feminism, and community here in Special Collections in Performing Arts at the Michelle Smith Performing Arts Library at the University of Maryland. My goals for this exhibit were to show Dr. Sandstrom's impact on sound engineering in Washington, D.C., the women's music movement, and the UMD ethnomusicology department. This video will explore the materials I've chosen for display within the context of Dr. Sandstrom's career and legacy. After moving down to D.C. from Boston in the early 1970s, Bowdoin Sandstrom attended her first women's music concert. She then went on to play French horn and act as an audio assistant on the album Three Gypsies by Cassie Culver, shown here, a storied women's music album produced collectively by Culver and her friends in a cabin in Maine in summer 1976. The natural red sketched imagery of this album cover inspired the exhibit's panel design. Sandstrom's involvement in the women's music movement ultimately led her to co-found the audio engineering company Woman Sound with her partner Cassie Culver in 1975. Throughout the 70s and 80s, Woman Sound continued to evolve and Sandstrom's impact on DC grew as she expanded her involvement in teaching and mentorship, especially through teaching audio engineering at American University. Here we have some ephemera from Woman Sound, including a brochure, an article from Mix Magazine, and a thank you note, one of many in the collection, which describes how Sandstrom and City Sound enabled 20,000 people to hear at the American Family Celebration, a rally organized by the Coalition of Labor Union Women in support of adoption and the Family and Medical Leave Act. Even after she sold City Sound, Sandstrom continued working in the field as an engineer and in more managerial roles such as a producer or technical director. Check out these badges, including one from the DC Sports Commission. In the 90s, Sandstrom came to the University of Maryland through the music library and quickly became indispensable to the ethnomusicology department due to her technical audio expertise. She developed and maintained classroom audio technology, managed world music ensembles, and worked as the department's program manager. At that time, she also began taking graduate courses in ethnomusicology, intending to study Latin American music. Her involvement in the department also expanded to instruction. She taught and co-taught courses like World Popular Musics and Identity, trained teaching assistants, and even traveled to places like Malta for research with her colleague and friend, Dr. Marsha Herndon. After the encouragement of her colleagues, Dr. Herndon and Dr. Carolina Robertson, Sandstrom began researching the women's music movement, leading to her co-production of the Radical Harmonies documentary with her best friend, Dee Mosbecker. As you can see, Radical Harmonies won the 2003 American Musicological Society's Philip Brett Award for Exceptional Musicological Work in the Field of Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, and Transgender Studies. Following similar lines of inquiry, here you can also see a map Dr. Sandstrom created that documents the D.C. lesbian music community, which is tied into a long tradition of mapping queer geographies of D.C., including efforts by Out Magazine in the 1970s and a more recent one linked here, the Rainbow History Project's Places and Spaces database. I just wanted to express my gratitude to everyone that made this exhibit possible, first and foremost to Dr. Sandstrom herself, as well as our graphic designer, Kelly Andrews. Thank you also to the Skippa curator, John Davis, as well as Hayden Kramer for working with me on this video. Mm -hmm.